Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimiak II, I'm the Digital Painter, and that is a gnome staring you down. Alright, welcome back. Uh, we are continuing on our Procreate series where we're talking about the updates that Procreate has most recently done. And um, what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a gnome that I did a quick sketch when I was at a uh, thespian conference, a theater conference in York, Pennsylvania uh, back in December. And I was just trying to, I'm uh, just showing them, you know, how you can use uh, Procreate uh, and and digital apps on the iPad to sketch and draw and that sort of thing. Anyways, so what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the new selection tools, and it's not really a new tool, but a new way to use the selection tool. So if you remember, to choose selection, you hit the little S, see how it went blue, and at the bottom you see freehand and automatic. Now we've always had free, well not always, but we've had freehand for a while, and what it does is you you know you draw around things. What is underneath the diagonals cannot be touched. What is above the diagonals can be touched. So if I switch over to paintbrush, you'll see a circle inside. But if I press here, it only hits part of it. Doesn't go in to where those diagonals are. But what they've added now is they they've added automatic. So let's tap that. And what that does is, is I'm currently on the purple hair layer. If you notice my layers, I have lots of different layers. I'm on the purple hair layer. So we go there and we are on automatic. And if I touch one of the hair areas and then slide back and forth, I've now selected the left hair. I can come over here and add the right hair. And I'm going to go over this again. So if you're not getting it right now, no worries. So I now have all three of the hair areas selected. And you can tell that because those are the areas that are not currently under the diagonal lines on the screen. So how does that work? Let me go a little slower this time so that you can fully see what's happening. Again, the first thing you have to do is select the selection tool. Make sure you're on automatic. What I'm doing is with one finger or with my stylus, I'm selecting an area. So I'm selecting an area that's covered by the purple on what we're looking at as the left pigtail. And I'm going to press and I'm going to start to slide it left and right. Notice up top, the selection threshold percentage goes up and down. And the higher the percentage, the more of the selection, the lower of the percentage, the less of the selection. So what we're going to do, and I've accidentally messed up there and I'll explain what I did. I actually went outside of my iPad screen so it thought I was finished and then when I came back on it decided to show that okay you want to do another selection that's fine. So we're actually going to go back since I messed that one up there we go. So you have to be careful, and that's one of the things, you know, there, there are little intricacies when you do this. You have to be careful about going outside of your actual screen when you do this. So again, I'm going to select my S. Again, the left pigtail, I'm going to press and start to slide left and right. And all we want is the pigtail. So I'm going to slowly go up until it goes into that full screen look. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? And we don't want that, so we're going to come back to right at that threshold so that I'm selecting the most of that. I'm going to now do the same thing with my right pigtail. Again, I'm going to go up until oh, we went too far, so we're going to come back. And there we go. And then I'm going to do it with the middle hair. Again, press and then begin to slide. Went too far. And there we go. So I have my selections. If I press my paintbrush, you'll see, and I'm going to turn off the pencil layer so you can see what I've got selected is just the purple hair. So now I can come in here if I want and grab my paintbrush. Let's see, let's grab painting. And we'll do, we'll do the Nico rule. And I'm going to select a color. I'm going to start with that, but then I'm going to come in and pull it down a little bit so that I can kind of play with some. 
Let's undo that. Make our size a little smaller. There we go. Oh, this is not the brush I'm looking for, but it'll work for what I'm doing. Again, notice how it won't let me go outside the lines. And that's exactly what I wanted. Keeps me inside the lines the entire time. And then again, to deselect, all you have to do is hit the S. We've deselected. We'll turn the pencil sketch back on. And you'll see. Now, it did not stay within the pencil sketch. What it did is it stayed within the painting that was already down on that layer. Okay? And you know what I did? I did a bunch of small strokes, so I have to tap my screen with two fingers multiple times for lots of undos. Let me finish this up. All right, so another cool thing with this is the ability to copy to a new layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, again, the automatic selection with our hair pieces. Which I hate when you go too far and you got to come way back. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, down at the bottom, and I'm going to go through slowly again, notice I now have two layers. You're probably thinking, well, how did he do that? Well, down at the bottom of your selection tool, you'll see once you have something selected, I keep going too far on these thresholds. There we go. And we're just going to copy the one. You see next to automatic, two lines, one above the other. If I tap that and then open my layers, you'll see a new from that selection has been created. Okay, I just had the left one. What this means you can do is you can actually do multiple layers of an area. So, for example, if you want to work on your skin tones, right, and you want to try different methods, you can copy your skin tone layer multiple times. For me, I just copied that hair layer, and what I'm going to do is, just to have a little fun, is I'm going to switch us to a lighten. And then I'm actually going to come in and erase areas. Good. And actually, we should probably go darken, shouldn't we? Let's go darken. There we go. So we can see it a little better. So I'm going to come in and erase areas. To create a little bit of a darker purple outline. Okay? And then what if you you, you know, if you wanted to, you can then take that layer. You could just duplicate that layer or you could go back into layer 3. We're going to use our selection tool again. We're going to do automatic. We're going to select it. We're going to duplicate that layer again. You'll notice it did indeed duplicate it. We'll bring it in and we will screen it this time. We'll grab our eraser again. And this time what we'll do is we'll erase some on the outsides. So now, you know, again, I'm doing this very quickly. But now we have some fun little different shades using a quick selection. You're not having to go back in and repaint it completely and then adjust it. You're just very, and if there's only a certain area you want to pick rather than, so notice I'm just doing the left, not the right. And so if I wanted to do both, I could select both, but this allows you to select specific areas. Okay. I mean, you could, lots of things you could do here. You could even come in, grab a new color. and change it completely. You notice I just did the drag and drop, adds the color over top. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do with the selection tool. So the automatic, really nice, really simple. Again, one last time, so you fully see how it works. You go into automatic. We're going to choose a completely different layer. I'm going to choose the skin layer. Selection tool, you're in automatic, you press and you begin to slide. Let 
Now if you go too far, such as this, you'll notice no selection happened. It's because it was essentially selecting the entirety. So if we come back in, you have to make sure you don't go too far. We'll come back right there, switch to paintbrush. You'll see our skin layer was indeed selected. If I zoom in, you can see boom, 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 my diagonals go right up to the skin layer. There's a note too. If you want to bring back to your selection what I did there, so I'm in Paintbrush, my selection. If you want to show your selection again, selection again, press and hold the S. Boom. We now have our selection again. We can now duplicate it if we want. You can make it so all you see is your selection. You're probably going, how did he do that? Well, I'm going to... The way I did that is that if you look automatic, next to that we have our line top, line bottom, two shadowed out, a plus and a negative sign, and then you see these two like corner pieces that are pointing at each other. That flips it back and forth. Now what this is doing is it's selecting everything outside of the face. So now if I were to paint with the purple, you notice I'm not going into the the, the facial area. This is a great way to paint backgrounds, right? You select everything that you have already painted and then flip it and now you'll see we have our background painted. If we flip back, we're back to the skin and I can't erase that background because it's under the diagonal lines. All right, so the automatic selection tool, really lovely. The ability to copy your selection to a new layer, pretty phenomenal. Procreate keeps raising the bar with what they do. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, or if, if you didn't enjoy the video, that's, that's fine too, I guess. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure, you're, and you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on the website, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. And of course, the website's address is www.thedigitalpainter.com. And then finally, if you like what you see and you want to say, hey, Terry, here, buy yourself a cup of coffee, you can do that one of two ways. At patreon.com slash the digital painter is a way for you to support the digital painter and everything that I do. Or if you just want to give me a one-time tip, over there at thedigitalpainter.com is a link for a PayPal donation. I appreciate both. Uh, you do get rewards, though, with the Patreon account. So if you go there, there are rewards, and you get happy things. I like happy things. All right, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you're having a fabulous week. And um, take care of yourself, and keep on painting. Oh, you gnome. Know.